following World War II, the pinup was the ideal woman. But as today's Mike Dalton discovered, at 2012 Miss Pinup Australia, the style is far from out of date. As the mirror ball turned in the auditorium of the Hornsby <laughs> RSL Club, the finalists in Miss Pinup Australia were front and centre from it. The image and the ethos of the pinup, the style of her life and the cut of her fashion is still lived and celebrated and annually so at the Miss Pinup Australia competition. As entrees of martini-style shrimp cocktails and chilled melon salad become a hand are served, I spoke with last year's winner, Miss Bunny Lambert. You don't need to be a size zero or a size two to make these clothes look amazing. They actually look better on the bigger girls. There is one major drawback with the vintage glamour. All the elastic's gone all funny and the colours all drain away, so you need to work really hard to find good vintage swimsuits and entree. They should have everything sort of covered, but still get the illusion of what's underneath. Looking gorgeous in the lavender. Thank you. Yes, Tom. It's an original vintage 50s strong dress. Now, it's the full hoop job in there, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's a 1940s original dress. Yeah, it's got four hoops. And it's very... Swingy from side to side. Yeah, it's very swingy. It's like you're an agitator in a washing machine. <laughs> an important part of being up is the stage name allowing access to the sometimes saucy elements of pinup nature, as I discussed with Missy Lamore and Poppy Dionics, both from Tassie. They are saying for a period of interview, Bonjour, so to speak. Oh. That's my favourite set. Exciting, I'm sure. <laughs> and mixing mitosis from WA. It's very ladylike, and it's kind of naughty. You know what? I'm into that. Thanks, Missy. <laughs> Baby Lace is from Western Australia, isn't it? With the sash? Yeah. The tiara? Yeah. You have a lip piercing. Yeah, I do. I'm a little bit more alternative. I'm not the traditional pin-up girl. As it is, with Illustrated Division contestant, Victoria's Cheech Sanchez. There were women around back then that did have full body suits mm -hmm. and all kinds of tattoos. It's just become a little bit more popular these days. Upstairs, the prep continues for evening dress. This pinup requires period poses of four seconds each, and I've a side of stage to encourage essays, lolly dolly. Boys! Boys! Remember the boys! And then, from the four winners of each division, would come Australia's pin. Western Sydney mum of two, Miss Luscious Lashes. Up next, do you have what it takes to be a princess? Prince Harry's on the...